Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 14th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun as it has furiously woken up over the last couple days. Five strong solar flares, two of them being X. The other three being M flares, all in imagery here. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play. Having a look at the last two days of imagery incoming, this is where we saw the most recent X and M class solar flares. And outgoing is where we saw another X and M solar flares. Stay tuned. As we do have coronal mass ejections coming our way, HALO CME detected from the most recent solar flares that are cresting into view. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last two days of events, that massive tsunami on the northern region of our sun, active sunspot regions popping off X and M flares. We've also got this big incoming coronal hole. Not only that, we've also got a pretty large Plasma filament still stretching from the surface, northwest region. Here is a look at the most recent M-class solar flare that was detected early this morning. Sorry, this was the X-class solar flare. My bad. Slow down imagery of this strong X2.2 solar flare. Another way to see our sun here, 171 angstroms, as we've got three sunspot regions to deal with. One of them is completely Earth-facing. The other two is cresting out and cresting in. Amazing imagery here. Of the active sunspot region coming into view, having a look at another light, able to see these sunspot regions in fluid motion. It's a big one, folks. Getting ready for this week's Earth-facing party. 4087 could be bigger than 4082. That was Earth-facing just a while ago. Oh, sorry, 4086. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on that. It has, as it has, gone Delta. Space weather conditions currently, we are under strong radio blackout impacts. High frequency radio communication, loss of radio contact for about an hour. Solar winds are coming in at 439 kilometers per second. Here's a look at our solar X-ray flux, 2X and 3M solar flares. Our sun has furiously woken up. Solar proton flux, we were hammered yesterday. Geomagnetic activity, slightly climbing up into the KP4 range. And that is ahead of this most recent coronal hole that we are looking at. Space Weather Prediction Center not including the most recent coronal mass ejections. Stay tuned as they will be updated. But in these models, in the bottom a diagram shows the velocity and solar wind speeds. So that dark red is going to be coming towards that little green circle, which is Earth. And that is expected on the 16th into the 17th we will see a strong geomagnetic event. Stay tuned. Here's a look at Alaska 2, showing the last two days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. And of course, depicting all the coronal mass ejections that took off from the most recent solar flares and plasma filament eruptions. Amazing images brought to you by SOHO and NASA and Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. And as I said, most recent solar flare cresting into view. Small halo CME. Look at tonight's Aurora View Line and tomorrow's. Not much to talk about just yet, but I'm sure that tomorrow's forecast will change. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours as we started off the day with a strong 6.4 earthquake the Tonga region, 243 kilometer depth after pretty deep earthquake in the region yesterday, 580 kilometer depth, or sorry, 546. 
3.6 earthquake there in New Zealand, 5.2 Pacific Antarctic Ridge, as well Australian Plate, 4.9 South Indian Ocean. Deep earthquake yesterday, uh, Bone and Islands region. As well, the 6.0 earthquake, Fry, Greece, well east of Santorini. Central America has been pretty busy, 5.2, Satura, Peru, as well, the Caribbean, 4.5, 4.7, 5.9 there, Southern Mexico, Loreto, that was yesterday. Notable earthquake here, Valme, Nevada, 4.1 magnitude, followed by a few aftershocks. Hawaii, still rumbling and not erupting right now. Waiting for episode 21, or it could be 22, since December 23rd, 2024. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for Shakers and Movers and take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and being a part of this journey and this channel here with Daily Events Worldwide, doing my best to give you the daily updates when I can. I appreciate all of the love and support and all of the memberships. I appreciate the loyalty, patience, and understanding during some time off, which sometimes is very much needed. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, please just have a plan. Be ready. Hashtag no fear here. Just aware, prepared. Earth changes daily and within a blink of an eye. So stay tuned. Now let's have a look at the volcano SO2 forecast. We have 80 volcanoes erupting around the world. Here is a look at the most recent sulfur dioxide plumes taking off from an active ring of fire right now. And as well around the Banda Sea into the Philippines, big eruption at Canloon, eruption at Merapi this morning, heavy SO2 contents coming out of Central Africa, as there are three volcanoes in that region. Notable eruption at Mount Etna. And peculiar SO2 still coming out of the Caribbean. A lot of pressure ready to release. Stay tuned, stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at the world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Big low pressure system here will be trapped for quite a few days heading up into the central United States. Watch for days upon days of wild weather across eastern and northeastern United States and Gulf states. Long range forecast, another low comes in. Low pressure systems still trying to get through the huge high pressure ridge. Long range forecast could see a very strong low pressure system scoot up the eastern seaboard into the Atlantic provinces. But big high pressure ridge building in the North Atlantic could break things down, but definitely going to ramp in Atlantic hurricane season 2025. Having a look now at Australia. Southeast Asia, New Zealand, and Africa. Low pressure system grinding in to New Zealand for Saturday and Sunday. Rain scooting down the eastern seaboard of Australia. Monsoon rains and low pressure systems grinding through India and Myanmar. Could see a cyclone heading towards Yemen in the long range forecast. Quick look here at the North Pacific. Been talking about the huge high pressure ridge that has been blocking all these low pressure systems and scooting them northward over the Rockies. Well, there's another high pressure ridge moving in to join forces towards the end of the month. We'll see if this thing breaks down or gets fed by all of the eruptions at Kilauea Volcano. Could see pretty intense cyclone coming towards Alaska in the long range. Going to leave you here looking at satellite imagery overlooking North America as we've got that huge low pressure system here over the Gulf states grinding up into eastern parts of North America has been trapped since pretty much the 10th of May. Four days now. Lots of rain for eastern United States. 
as well. Watch for that high pressure ridge to break down eventually. And we'll see a lot of strong systems in the long range. And as well, lots of warmer temperatures as summer is right around the corner. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please don't forget to pump up the thumbs. Get in the comment section down below. Stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared. Much love and good night. Thank you.